Hey guys, Mincy Size AJ here, and welcome back to another Animal Jam video. And today I will be um, making a video on how to get rare fast. And I actually have been doing this way for a really long time now, and I have acquired a lot of psycho wristbands and actually a long collar. So I actually got some of these from the Forgotten Desert. Um, not the friendship items, but um, I got some clothing betas and some den betas, and I was able to trade them up to four long wristbands, and then I traded four long wristbands for this long collar. And um, after a really long time, I've acquired all these spiked wristbands, so if you haven't already known already, I am hosting a spike wristband giveaway. It is actually a club giveaway with Polar Bear 101 and clone pinky aj so go check them out um just go to my channel and you will find a video about that um so my first tip um for getting rear fast is to do the adventures and specifically the forgotten desert because um the forgotten desert has a lot of cool prizes you can get and people have actually gotten spikes and stuff um, this can really help you, and I actually, um, play this desert, um, play this adventure a few times every day, and I get clothing betas and den betas, which can really help me get up to spikes and stuff. So, um, I will pause this video until I get my first chest. Okay, so I got my first, um, prize. So, I got heart earmuffs, which is not too good, but, um, we still have four more chests, about four more chests to open, um, I think three now, yeah, so three more, and we are almost close to getting the light purple one, so I'll come back to you when we get that one. So next, we actually have the yellow chest, so let's go ahead and open it. And we got a diamond ring. Let me go show you. So we got this diamond ring. And if you do not like any of these items, you can, of course, recycle them. So that is really nice, too. And get some gems. Next, we have the light purple um, chest. And we got a lion hat, which looks like this. So it is a grayish purple um i don't think that's worth that much but yeah and some rumors say that if you open ground chests you will get bad prizes but i'm just gonna go ahead and open some and i got 100 gems 50 gems and we actually need one more gem um, one more crystal. Okay, so we got it. <gasps> oh, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <gasps> oh my gosh. What the? Look at that. This is proof that if you open ground chests and, um, and yeah, you can get great prizes. So the Forgotten Desert is actually a great way to get spikes, and this is actually my second long color, so yeah. Oh my gosh. Yay! So that's the first way, and is my number one choice to getting rare, because as you just saw, I just got a green long collar from the Forgotten Desert, and the, um, the chest that you, um, can get den betas and clothing betas from is from the green and yellow chest. And the ones you can get spikes from is the blue one and the light purple one. Oh my gosh. That is amazing.
I'm actually gonna delete some them somebody so I can buddy these people. I can't believe that I got a green lung on video. That is just amazing. So, I am actually doing the Forgotten Desert again to show you all the prices you can get because our last play was amazing and we actually got a green long spiked collar. So, shout out to my friend Blossomberry Roo 101. I love Wolf 667 and Fruity 04 because they helped me um, with this adventure and thank you so much. So we got our first chest and we got a igloo pet house and we have another chest to open and I got a Frankenstein mask that looks like this. So I just got the blue chest and I got snowshoes. So that is not that good of an item so I can recycle that to get more gems. So yeah. I'm just going to keep this recording until we get the next one. If it will take more than like a minute or two, I'll just stop recording and stuff. And hopefully we get a spike again. Probably not because last time we were really, really lucky. So yeah. We can't find it. This might take a while. We have... 2 minutes and 20 seconds left remaining, and I don't think we can make it. I don't know why. Um, can't find it. It may be down here again. Because on the map it says I haven't um, explored the whole land yet. I don't think it's here. Um, not over here. So I don't think it's over here in this area, but probably in a different area. So I'm just gonna go ahead and pause the video until I find the last shard. So we didn't end up finding the last shard, so um, that's pretty sad. But, um, we did find a lot of other cool items, including a long spiked collar, and we can go ahead and recycle all the other items we don't want, and that can give you a lot of gems. So I just got 1,350 more gems, so that is cool and awesome. And the next tip for getting more rare is to trade, and of course, you just don't want to trade random people. You want to trade at a populated server. So I would recommend recommend Alden or maybe Congo because those are two really popular servers. And as you can see, um, um, you can see a lot of um a lot of rare people. Do I actually have Valentine's items? So. You can see me trading right now, and, um, yeah. So, if you want to figure out a trade, just jam gram them. I have Valentine's item. And, um, you can go ahead and trade them. I have twice items. I think I have 20 Valentine's items, so I can go ahead and trade them. I think I do. I believe so. So, I am going to go figure out a trade with her. You can just watch. What's your offer? So we're gonna trade and it could be with den betas and stuff. Hmm. 
wrist. I am looking for the spike wristband. So, realize if a little more than 20, my spike. Okay. Deal. Can you put spike on trade? So, um, I think I figured out a trade with them. I'm gonna trade 20 Valentine's items for something. I say I'm fine with any spike. Um, is it this spike? Do you have any other spikes? Like a rare spike? How is that denivated? Maybe ten beaters, I don't know. Oh. Hmm. Tent item for your spike. I can only trade 10 Valentine's Day items, but that might be an overtrade too. Um, so just trade over all your items. So yeah, I'm gonna go pause this video until I'm finished trading. So my next tip is to make a store. So I actually have a lot of Valentine's Day items. So I will be making a store and people can trade really good items for these items that you don't really want that much and some people are collecting seasonal items so yeah and how i got these all were from the special delivery um the special delivery adventure and i have collected all of these so I am going to go to Jama Township and advertise my Valentine's Day store. So I'll just say Valentine Oops Day Item Door My Den. So I'll just do this and I will wait for other people to get my den and see if anyone wants some of my items. So there are currently three people in my den so that is pretty nice. Four people. Sure. And I will make another part to this video, just a heads up, so yeah. So I actually got a few more items and I got this golden glove and two rares and I actually traded this for a Green long collar, even though it's a bit under, um, I just want to make other people happy, so I just accepted that trade. So I think stores are really nice too because you can get a lot of small items. And yeah, I hope you enjoyed, and I hope this will help you with your rarity and stuff. So please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye, jammers.